My right eye is watering. That's not good. It's getting very emotional. Hi guys, Robbo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP21 on the Xbox Series X. Now, we go to Mategi next, which is 8 laps, and we already know it's going to be a wet race uh, with a drying line, so that's not good. So, yeah. Let's see how we get on with Mategi. Could be good, could be bad. Who knows? Let's find out. Okay, so straight through to Q2. Fastest overall. So, uh, yeah, feeling good. I'm not even going to change tyres for this qualifying session. Oh, on the curb for Lowe's there. Well, he should have invalidated his time there. Oh, wow. Great. Great. Fantastic. So, as we just seen, um, we had to come in together with the Lowe's. Well, he, he basically cut a corner and crashed. Then I went into his bike. So, not ideal. We were on course for a good lap. Or we were red in sector two. So, I haven't changed my tyres. I don't know why, to be honest. Because we're not going to need the slicks for the race or warm-up. We'll just have to uh, see what we can do. Okay, it wasn't great through turns one and two. Yeah, so grey in sector one. Too wide into that. Okay, we're red in sector two. Oh, steady. Hasn't been the cleanest of laps, that's for sure. I don't think we're going to be red in sector three. I think we're going to go grey again. Yeah, we're very close to the lap time though that Lowe's has done. Providing we don't do a massive stoppy now, which we haven't. Okay. We should be on course for pole here. There we go. No, we're not. Second. So, we start on the second row in fourth place. Yes, I did just have a crash as well into turn one. Um, yeah, N not ideal. Right, I had to come out of the race because they were crashing way too much. Back in. Right. See what we can do. Here we go. Oh. Oh, they're down. Can we get lows on the brakes? Not quite. Oh, he's got me back. That's okay. Can we get him back now? Yes, we can. A little bit wide. But we do lead. A 
and lows his back through. Oh, oh, both, both had to go wide then. I mean, Lowe's didn't have a choice because I was going wide. Okay, that's fine. He really caught up to me there, though. Okay, not a great exit. Where is Bezeki? That's what I want to know. Way too wide. Lose is going to come through or not. Oh, I thought he's going to tap me then, but he didn't. Surely he's going to have another go down here. Oh, I mean, we had a bit of a tap then. But we still have the lead for the moment. I think he's going to come through anytime soon now. Okay, that's a little bit wide. Okay, well, Lowe's is under pressure from Ben Snyder now. Really cooking my brakes into uh, that corner. Oh, Lowe's is broken away from Ben Snyder a little bit. Getting a little bit wide, try and... Okay, we cut that back for a very late apex through the second corner. Oh, steady. Are we actually breaking away a little bit here? I think we are. This is a sector where they usually catch me up. They used to do that on MotoGP 20. Yeah, I am absolutely cooking my brakes at the moment. That wasn't happening in morning warm-up. Wow, he's really closed in there. He took about three tenths out of me in that final sector. It's 
So even though dry bits are starting to appear, still spin up pretty much exactly the same amount. But I don't think the AI have that trouble. But where is Bezeki? Oh, that's wide. That's wide. That cost me a lot of time, that mistake. I literally thought I was going to lose the front then, but we're okay. Yeah, cooking my brakes and it's not helping. I think we're going to have loads for company again very soon. It's going to be sooner rather than later. Especially in this final couple of corners. He seems to really close up. Wouldn't surprise me if Lowe's has fastest lap of the race. Look at that. And he does. Okay, feels a little bit more grippy now. Oh, that was dangerous. So was that. Oh, careful. Yeah, I am overheating my brakes quite badly. Gonna have to try and manage that as best we can. Which does mean we're gonna have to start just breaking just that little bit earlier to make sure we get stopped for corners, especially these hairpins. No, that's not stopping. Okay, we actually got a decent exit despite going a bit wide. going to be my personal best lap but Lowe's immediately I got fastest lap and Lowe's immediately beat it and he's right on me now he's going to come through it's whether I can hold on I think I know where he's going to do it into this next corner. Left the door open a little bit. No, he didn't come through. Okay. Big slide on the entrance then. He's close. All we can do is try and make ourselves as wide as possible. Literally just going defensive at the moment just to try and 
holding behind. Oh no, he gave me a little nudge then, and that has sent me wide. We are back through. No, we're not. How the hell did he stop that? Because he looked a bit out of control then. This is where we keep losing time, is the exit of the final corner. That spray effect is so annoying. Just trying to take a different, different line, a different approach to the corners to see. See if we can get past him again. Just try and sneak through here. Okay, it worked. Don't know for how long though. But we are momentarily back into the lead. This is the penultimate lap as well. And of course on the final lap we will have the benefit of power map in three as well. If we can win here. That would be amazing. Yeah, not happy about my brakes overheating, though. This is why I'm having to uh, brake earlier than normal just to make sure we actually get stopped for the corners. Okay. One lap to go. We have just set the fastest lap of the race. Come on. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. I'm going to save Palm Up in three a little bit. A little bit wide, a little bit wide. That was wide as well. Right, come up in three now. If he goes for a massive dive now, we could be in trouble. And he hasn't. He wasn't close enough. We're gonna do it just. Oh, it's close. It's less than two tenths of a second. But we done it. Mategi done. With the top performers. We're gonna take a look at who got the fastest lap then. Wow, Schrotter down in 28th. Where did Bezeki finish? 
Ninth. That's going to help our championship. Look at that. 47 points over Bezeki now. That's good. Although we've lost uh, one position in the team championship, which isn't great. That was a tough race. And now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. All right. Job well done. Job well done. Whew. That's good. I'm glad we won that. Let's say that the, the next race is dry, though. I don't want two bloody races in a row being wet. I don't like it. Okay. So still on upgrade for frame. So yeah, Burry Ram. Or Chang Circuit. Eight laps. Dry? Yes, it's dry. Okay. Right, let's not do that. Let's do, let's do FP2. Right. See you in qualifying. Okay, so straight through to Q2. But... Only fourth quickest this time. The times were quite spread out, to be fair. See what we can do in qualifying. We need to change tyres. Because those times are going to get quicker. Excuse me. It says we're point seven up already, but that's because uh, the faster riders haven't been out yet. Mess that corner up completely. Somehow we've still gained time. Good place for them to crash. Okay, 36 3 for me. So we got pole position, which I'm quite surprised at actually. Right, let's see how we get on with the race. Okay, so I uh, backed out again because they were all crashing again. Milestone, sort it out. Why are the AI crashing? We shouldn't have to keep bloody backing out of races and going back in to stop them crashing. Right, here we go. Not a great start. But that's fine. Because we can pick up a little bit of slipstream. And try and get through. Power mapping too. Oh, that's white. So far, so good. No one's crashed. Loads of crash at that hairpin on my uh, previous run. Oh, I've just noticed something as well. My bloody webcam is on autofocus. Let's just sort that out. Stop. There's no need to do that. Right, carry on. Don't know how long it's been doing that. And this next corner, loads of them were crashing at. It seems like they're behaving now. And also the final corner, a lot of them were crashing at.
We're not pulling away at the moment. It's all very close at the moment with Gardner. Bezeki's in fourth, so he's doing much better this time than he, what he'd done in uh, Mategi. I'm a little bit concerned about leading at the moment. Just in case they uh, try to take me out of this hairpin, but so far, so good. That's a little bit wide through that. I think Gardner's going to get me soon. Oh, like here. Or not. Digi fastest lap. Where is Digi? Sick. 36-4. I don't know, 36-6. Oh, Lowe's has got second now. Okay, a little bit wide. Oh, for, oh, Fernandez is second, so Gardner has been beaten up a little bit. He's lost two places. Oh dear, that's me way too wide then. Now we might be under attack from Fernandez. Oh, he's there. Not able to come through though. Trotter fastest lap. So that Schrotter had the fastest lap on the previous race, but it was way down. Oh, this is going to be it. This is going to be the one where they come through. Especially if I leave the door open like that. They're right there. We're about to be mugged, I think. Oh, we just shut the door at the right time then. Oh, bit of a slide, bit of a slide. Come on, we can do this.
Okay, that was my fastest lap, but Fernandez, he's got the fastest lap overall at the moment. And he was looking through then. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Okay, that was much neater. Oh, Lorenzo Baldessari's got the fastest lap. He's in seventh. Oh, here he goes. No. Oh. Doors wide open. He's not through again. Come on, stay with it. Gardner's back up to third. Oh, here he comes. Is he going for it? Not yet. Low. Oh no, I thought that was low zone for a moment. Here he goes. I'm going to have to slip stream him back. I will go wide, very wide in fact. Right, Pam up in three. That's worked to an extent, right, Pam up in two. Brakes are overheating again. Still got two laps to go after this one. Can we hold on though? Come on. Okay, fastest lap of the race, 36-0. Good time to do it. Come on, brakes. Cool down, cool down. Trouble is, they start cooling down here, but then we got a heavy braking zone. And they start to overheat again. And they have a little bit of a rest here. The rear brake is taking ages to cool down here. Okay, that's fine. My right eye is watering. That's not good. It's getting very emotional. It's going to be close by the end. I know that much. It's going to be very close. The rear is starting to move around quite a bit now. Come on. One more time. One more time.
Palm up in three for the straight. Okay, actually, that was uh, pretty decent. Ooh, okay. We can switch back to Pan Map in 2 at the end of this little straight now. My front tyre is pretty knackered, to be fair, so is the rear. Right, I don't need power map in three for this straight. Because I didn't want to overshoot the final corner, although I went a little bit wide. Oh, I got my fastest lap on the final lap there. But was it the fastest overall? This thrilling race, finishing their call down laps. So well, it wasn't. Who did that go to? to take a look at the Moto2 wow. Results. Albert Arenas down in 29th place. Okay. 61 points over Bezeki. We've got three races to go. We're still in fourth in the team championship. We're not going to get any closer, unfortunately. Cool. Two very, very difficult races there. Very, very difficult. But done what I could. Done what I could. And uh, yeah, two back-to-back -back wins. Happy about that. And I did back out the races as well because the uh, AI were doing stupid things. So, yeah. <sighs> and breathe. And breathe. Okay. So, frame upgrade has been done. Let's get them on to another engine upgrade. Even though it's probably not going to be... Yeah, probably not going to be ready by the end of the season. So, in terms of... Okay. So we've got some decent chances with some some of the teams. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. We'll keep pushing. So next week will be Phillip Island. Then we've got Sepang and Valencia. Um, so nine laps for Phillip Island. Proposal received. Obviously staying with the same team. I don't really want to do that. But anyway, standings. Moto3. So Pedro Acosta is still leading that from Joan Messia in second place. Gabriel Rodrigo is out of it in third with Darren Binder fourth and John McPhee in fifth. Moto2. It is literally just between me and Bezeki now. Uh, so I lead Bezeki by 61 points. Lowe's is out of it in third. Remy Gardner is fourth and Raul Fernandez is fifth. MotoGP, it is just between Quattararo and Vinales. 31 points separate them from Joan Mir in third, Morbidelli fourth, and Jack Miller in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, wash your hands, and look after yourselves. See you!